Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison. I am a first year, second grade teacher, and this is going to be a week in my life. Thanks so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be filming this week. This is my first week of actual contract hours, so our first official week of school. The kids don't come for another two weeks. Um, our first day is September 8th for the kids to come, but we have a lot to do before then. This whole week will be a lot of PD and just like meetings, but it's gonna be my first week in the school with all the other faculty since I am at a new school this year. So I'm just really excited to meet everybody um, and just dive into all the meetings and we'll be learning kind of just how this school year will be going. If you're new to my channel, my school is doing a hybrid model starting September 8th. So parents had a choice, they could either be 100% online or they could do a hybrid choice. The hybrid choice means on Monday and Tuesday we will have half of our classes and Thursday and Friday we'll have the other half. So we'll be at 50% capacity and then on Wednesdays it will be a fully online day. So basically I'll have like last names A through L on Monday and Tuesday and then M through Z on Thursday and Friday. And so yeah, we'll see how it's gonna go but that's at least what they're saying is gonna happen, <laughs> but obviously things can change. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited, and I'll go ahead and just take you along with me this week. I won't be able to get a ton of footage every day, obviously, because you know I'm gonna be in and out of meetings all day, but I will definitely try to get as much footage, footage as I can. And yeah, I'm really excited to take you along with me. So Kathy is actually here to pick me up. We carpool to school. If you're new here, Kathy is one of my best friends and she teaches fourth grade at the same school as me. So it's been so much fun. We pretty much just carpool to work every day. Like how fun is that? Um, so yeah, she's here to pick me up. So I will see you guys at school, bye. All right guys, I just made it to my classroom and I am about to head over to a team member's room for us to start this PD. We are not all gathering like we normally would as a school because there's too many people to gather in one room. So instead we are just gathering in grade levels and we have to sit six feet apart and wear masks and all that. But yeah, so I'm going to head over there. My tapestry is down. One of my alphabet signs fell down. One of my pictures I had up here fell down. So, that's okay. I'm gonna just have to put those back up later. <laughs> All right, so I just got back from Jimmy John's. We are on our lunch break. So we only have like another half hour to eat before we have to hop back on to Zoom. And we have PD until four today. So I'm in my own classroom now. I was over at another team member's classroom, but I'm back in mine. And so I'm just going to eat and then I'm going to tune back in to the PD. And I am hoping I can get to working on some of the folders that I am working on for the meet the teacher night. If I didn't already tell you guys, our meet the teacher night is going to be kind of like a drive-by in the school parking lot. So grades K through two will be in one part of the parking lot and basically the parents will drive by and they will stop and they have to stay in their cars but we will say hi, take a picture with them. Um, I have a folder of stuff that I need to give to them, just like information and just like your typical back to school information and their iPad and just stuff like that. So I'm really excited for that. That's next week and I'm just excited to be able to meet my kiddos. I did get my class list today, which I'm so happy about because I have been waiting to get that list. And so I finally got to see the kiddos I'm going to have. Right now I have 17 on my class roster. Um, so I know a lot of people have less than that. Some people only have like 16 or 15 or even less. Um, so I'm really happy with that number. And like I said before, we will be 50% capacity. So that means that really most days I will only have like eight or nine kids here in the classroom, which is a fine number. I think that's a good number and um, it'll still feel like a classroom. 
So yeah, I'm really excited. I got to see pictures of all my students and it just makes it all more real and makes me realize that the kids are going to be here so soon and school is really going to be starting. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go eat and then I will check back in with you guys later. Alright guys, so it is about 3.30. We are actually still on the Zoom call. I just have it muted right now. Just taking a second to breathe. We have been on Zoom since 8 a.m. So it's been a long day. Um, I actually work my second job this evening. I have another job. I work at a restaurant. I just got this job over summer. Who knows if I will be keeping it once school starts, but for now, I have time. Yeah, I work this evening at 5, so I'm pretty much leaving from here and going straight to work. So, really excited about that, can you tell? Um, and then tomorrow, we have more Zoom sessions back here at school. So, I will probably just catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning, it is Tuesday. As you can see, I am not at school. No makeup, I'm literally in my pajamas still. Because today was considered like a district directed professional development day. So I could stay at home and do the Zoom calls from here. So that means no makeup, and pajamas <laughs> the best day um so yeah i just wanted to update you guys i haven't been doing much that's super exciting to film because i did like an hour of my professional development in bed this morning and then i've just been down here and yeah i just finished with my professional development and so now i'm just going to eat some lunch and then i am heading off to work so that's pretty much how my day went today. So sorry I didn't get a lot of footage today. I just figured it's literally just me sitting at my house. So it would, wouldn't really be that fun to watch. But tomorrow we have professional development starting at 12.30. From 8 to 12.30 it's considered district directed. I guess I'll kind of explain that. So throughout the next couple weeks there is principal directed times which means we have to be in the building whether it's over a zoom call or in person and then there's district directed times which means the district put together some professional development videos for us to watch in that case the principals don't need us in the building we're welcome to be in the building if we want to but we don't have to and then there is teacher directed times so that means we're allowed to do whatever we want we can stay at home we can be in our classrooms working on it most teachers at this point work in their classrooms right now because teacher directed time is the time for them to set up their classroom decorate organize all the stuff that i've been doing for the past couple weeks so since i have been in my classroom already since the beginning of august it's kind of nice because i'm pretty much done with all that stuff um, um, so yeah, I'm basically just going to chill before I have to go to work today, but I will see you guys when I get to school tomorrow.
Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So I am about to head out and go to school. I had kind of a late start this morning because my professional development meetings didn't start until 12.30. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna sleep in. <laughs> so pretty much this morning, I just got some work done on my computer and I had to print out a bunch of stuff. I am trying to gather all the materials for my kiddos for the meet the teacher night and um, it's a lot of paper. So I've been printing out a bunch of stuff from home and now I'm about to head to school. My professional development starts in like 15 minutes, so I'm running a little late, but I'm going to head to school to tune into it there. I don't have to be at school, but I have some things I wanna get done anyway, so I thought I would just go to the classroom today to tune into the PD and get some stuff done around the classroom as well. So I will take you guys along with me. All right guys, I am back in my classroom and about to tune in to the Zoom call. I wanted to show you guys something cool that my school is implementing this year as far as contact tracing for COVID-19. Um, so basically my school has decided instead of using like a pen and paper check in, check out inside of the school, they created QR codes for the front of every single room in the building. And if you enter any room, you take a picture of the QR code, it scans it, and then you just log in your name just so they know that you are in that room. And then when you leave, you scan it and log out. This way they have like a database of every person that was in every room. So if someone comes down with COVID-19, they will have a list of people who have been in that room so that they can go get tested. So I thought that was a really good idea um, and I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Also, I know you guys were saying you wanted more outfit ideas and like you wanted me to make videos about teacher outfits and stuff, which I can totally do. Um, so I thought I would start incorporating that into some of my weekly videos. Um, so I'm pretty casual today. This sweater is from Target. It's seriously the most comfy thing ever. I think I got it in a medium just so that it was like a little bit oversized, but it comes down longer in the back so it covers your butt. That way you can wear it with leggings. These leggings are from Victoria's Secret. They're just like super comfy cotton leggings. And then I'm just wearing sandals. Um, I bought these sandals, like I thrifted them, so can't tell you where to find them. Um, but yeah, lately I've just been going for super comfy. Once school starts, I will be dressing obviously a little bit more professional. I will be wearing a lot of dresses and a lot of skirts just because that's like the most comfortable thing to wear during the day, but yeah. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I just set up my little desk area back here. I actually love how this turned out. I got this idea from Kathy because Kathy set up her desk in the like center of the classroom, which I had never thought about doing, but it's actually a perfect spot because I can just have eyes over the whole classroom. If you guys know, I do have this tiny little desk, but I like to spread out a lot of stuff. So instead, I just took one of these taller um, rectangular desks and made it my own. I put some better than paper wallpaper on it just to add something to it. I might put like a little banner over it with like my name, who knows, whatever I feel like doing. And so right now I just have like my laptop. This is all paperwork that I'm working on getting together for the kids. I just have these cute little succulents that my friend Brittany, who was on my second grade team last year, got me little post-it holder which I think I might actually change this out to hold um, like hall passes staples and tape I have my Yeti over here and then I actually just got the cutest coaster um, and this is from custom creations they created it for me and I love it I will link them down below so I just have that there I have my um, smart board remote and then my doorbell and if you guys don't have a doorbell you seriously need one I will kind of show you guys how it works I have my doorbell sounder under here right there and so you can pick the sound that you want and it's pretty loud I just press this from my desk
It's about 20 seconds long and it just gives them kind of like, I mean, you can use it however you want. I'm probably gonna use it just to let them know to start quieting down or to start um, like cleaning up after recess, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, anyway, then I have this little supply caddy. I got this from the Target Dollar Spot. It holds all my pens, pencils, highlighters, markers, scissors, all that. And then I also just got the cutest new backpack. I got this backpack off of Amazon. I also got this little tassel off of Amazon. This is the brand, once it focuses, Himawari? I have no idea how to say that. But yeah, I actually really love it. It opens up super wide, I'll show you. So it opens up wide like this. I can keep my laptop and pretty much anything I want in here. Everything that I brought to school is on my desk. <laughs> but yeah, it's super lightweight and easy to carry around. I also just ordered some new face masks. I got these face masks from Kitsch, if I'm pronouncing that right. I have heard that they're so comfortable and super breathable, um, but I will update you guys on that. So right now I'm going to finish watching this PD. I am working on some parent handbooks for my families. I just created this little document with the help of one of my team members. And sorry, I'm covering up like our mascot and school name and all that. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to start putting these together and putting them in all those folders. The next thing I'm going to do is organize all of my um, letters to my parents, just like a newsletter. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I got a template off of TPT. I did not create this. This um, was a part of kind of like a bundle for Meet the Teacher template. So if you search on TPT, like a Meet the Teacher, um, I did pay for it. I can't remember how much it was. If I find it, I'll link it down below. But I'm about to put these together. What I did over here was just organize all of my piles just because these are all gonna be folders and I have a bunch of papers. So this is more efficient than doing one folder at a time. wanted to show you this is a um, part of our parent newsletter but it has our school schedule for second grade so me and my team members came up with this yesterday and submitted it to the principal um, and so it's really nice that we kind of get to create our own schedule so uh, we just have our morning meeting and then we go to math we have a restroom break recess and recess will only be 15 minutes long and then we have reading, which takes up, as you can see, a biggest portion of our time. Then the kids go to lunch and then have a second recess. Then we decided to come back and um, have a read aloud, which I love. I love kind of settling back into the classroom with a good read aloud. Then we have science and social studies, specials, which the specials teachers will be coming to our classroom. So. This is our new gym. <laughs> PE will be happening right here, which will be crazy. And then we have intervention time, writing, and then we pack up. So as you can see, our school does start early. We start at 7.20, and so it's an early day, but the good news is we get out pretty early. So I do have a bunch of extra copies of pretty much everything that I just put into their folders, which is good because right now I have 17 students, but um, I could always get more. So I just made some extra copies just in case. 
I am so excited. The family that I nannied for last year sent me this in the mail off of my Amazon wish list. It's a portable mini fridge, which is so nice, and I can just keep it in my classroom to keep my lunch and drinks in. Um, I will show you guys what it looks like. I mean, come on, how freaking cute. It comes with a little handle, and then you can open it right here. And it's tiny, but it'll fit food and drinks, which is all I need. Hey guys, just checking back in with you. I am currently in the middle of my last Zoom meeting. It is ending very soon, but I wanted to show you a couple things I've done around the classroom. Over here on my desk, I have this little mail organizer and I added this cute sign in front of it just so people can't see what's in it and because it's just cute. <laughs> um, I just made this on PowerPoint, by the way. I also added this to my front cabinets. I had some leftover contact paper, literally this exact piece, and I wanted to use it somewhere. I didn't want to just throw it away. So I saw this awesome idea. I can't remember who I saw it from, but I think I was just watching like a YouTube video and they used this class agreement, which is basically like class rules. And on the first day of school, I will have my kiddos and I come up with class rules and I will put all the rules on here. And then at the bottom, the kids will sign their name. So I think it was a latte learning on Instagram that posted about this recently. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a really great idea and I will keep you guys updated on how it looks like once the school year starts. I also took down the bitmoji that was here from the teacher before. I still need to scrub the sticky stuff off, but then I added my own little bitmoji here. Just printed it and laminated it, and I think it's really cute. Over here, if you guys remember, I talked about my teacher versus students classroom management, and I said I was going to print out some bitmojis. So I did that. I printed, laminated, and then um, cut them out. And basically, if I am the winner of the week, then I will just put my bitmoji here, and I thought that was kind of cute and fun. Um, and then I just searched like classroom bitmojis, and so I decided I'm just gonna use this to kind of like stand for them. I don't know, I'm sure they'll think it's like really funny, and it'll just be a nice visual at the end of the week, and they'll like seeing that if they won. And um, yeah, I thought that was just really cute. Lastly, over here on my objectives board, I added the subjects. I was thinking about just like writing the subjects, but I decided to just cut out and laminate these little stars. So we have reading, science, writing, and math. And then my plan is to stick just like a white piece of paper in the little dry erase sleeves and then just write on the dry erase what our objectives are for the week. I have found that this is the easiest way to keep objectives up to date. I have also added some more stuff to my small group cart, so I added some leveled texts over here, I added um, some timers over in this top bin, I added some more pointer fingers and just stuff to help the kiddos when they're reading independently, and then down here on the math I added some 120 charts. So again, I just use these dry erase sleeves to store their 120 charts in them and that way they have a blank one and a filled one and then I believe there's one with like some filled, some not filled. Yeah, right here. So that they can like fill in the blanks and since they are dry erase, we can reuse them which is really nice. And then I also printed off a number line. Hey guys, so I just made it back to my car. I just left school. Our PD got out about an hour ago and I just stayed in the classroom finishing up some last minute things. But I am probably just going to end off today right here and then resume tomorrow. Tomorrow, my plan for the day, I have Zoom meetings from 8 to 9.30 in the morning and I'm just going to do those from home and then once those are all finished I'm going to come here to the school because I have a couple things I want to get done. I need to film a classroom tour to put up. That's in case we go online but also I'm going to send it out anyway to the parents just to show the kids um, before school even starts and then I'm also going to film like a little meet the teacher segment so I'm just going to kind of talk about myself and introduce myself to the kids and again like I said we will send this out to the parents so that the kids can watch it before school starts and meet the teacher is next week where I will be meeting all of them and uh, that is when they will get majority of their information and be able to see these videos and stuff so 
that is the plan for tomorrow so I will probably give you guys a little behind the scenes view at everything that I do tomorrow and I will catch up with you guys in the morning hey guys happy Thursday so I just made it back to my school so I'm pretty sure this is where I ended off the vlog yesterday and I'm literally back in the exact same spot <laughs> I'm back at my school and I'm wearing a dress today because today I'm going to be filming my classroom tour and my meet the teacher for my kiddos. So our principals just wanted us to do this so that we could introduce ourselves to the kids just in case we do end up going virtual, like 100% virtual, and just so we can show them around the classroom and all that. So I'm actually really excited to film it. I think it'll be fun to film and to send out to them. We'll probably be able to send it out to them like next week. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take you along with me I don't have a lot more plans I had professional development today from 8 to 9 30 and then the rest I just did at home so I just didn't film that because I was literally just sitting at home so yeah I will go ahead and take you guys along with me today guys I am so sad every day I come in here and my tapestry has fallen if you see I literally have so much sticky tape tack glue and it will not stay on this side I'm thinking it's just because of the humidity in here I don't know um, I just ordered some more of the Gorilla Glue squares because those are like the stickiest things and I'm pretty sure that's what's holding it up on this side but I'm just really sad because it's so cute and I need to fill my virtual tour today so I'm probably just going to try to stick it up as good as I can so that I can at least film for the kids but if you have any tips on how to hang fabric on a cement wall please leave them down below hello class my name is Miss Campbell. It is so great to meet you guys. I really, really hope that I will be able to meet you all in person. But for now, I will have to just say hello through this screen. Okay, so as you just saw, I just filmed a little snippet for my kids. Um, and so that actually got me really excited because it just felt like I was teaching and I just can't wait to meet them and actually talk to them and get to know all of them. Um, but yeah, so I just filmed a little Meet the Teacher and then I filmed a whole classroom tour. And that is pretty much all that I had to do today, but I think I might get a couple things done as long as I'm here. Sorry, I did not film anything else in the classroom. Basically, after the last time I checked in with you guys, I ended up going to our library and media center. And um, I just have been working with the librarians and um, the media specialist with getting my kids' iPads ready. So I wasn't going to film any of that. And then I ended up going over to another second grade teacher in my hallway. I went over to his room and we ended up talking for a couple hours. And um, I just left my camera and my phone in my room and then I went over to Kathy's room and I hung out with her a little bit in her room so I did not end up getting anything else productive done um, but that's okay I don't have a ton of stuff left to do anyway I really just came in today to film those videos and everything else that I've left to do it's all like personalizing my kids things like personalizing their writing portfolios science and math folders and organizing all that type of stuff which I really want to wait to do until next week um, just because the class lists will be like finalized next week even though we have them but things could always change so yeah um, we have our meet the teacher next week which will actually be in this parking lot that I'm in right now and we'll be sitting out here with signs and the kids will drive by and we'll get to say hi from our cars and so I think that will be really fun I'm really looking forward to that and um, I wanted to kind of update you guys on what's going on with my school district so originally we were planning on starting school this week so Monday was supposed to be our first day of school like um, the kids being in classes but our start date got pushed back to September 8th and that's why this week ended up being just like a contract week where we have PD and stuff so now our plan is to go back hybrid or at least that's what we were thinking last week however our numbers in Columbia keep skyrocketing because I live in a college town so we have a lot of college kids that just came back to school this past week 
and once they all got here the numbers in our city skyrocketed and so that is affecting us obviously and now we are really close to being considered fully 100% virtual so I'm waiting to hear news from our um, superintendent of our district. He has been monitoring the situation, monitoring the numbers, and been talking with the Columbia Public Health Organizations and all that to see what our best plan would be to go back. Obviously, we all want to go back in person. I was really looking forward to hybrid because we would still be in person. We would just have 50% capacity half of the week and the other on the other half, which was fine to me. I just want to be back in school. I want to be with kids. I want to be in person. I do not want to teach virtually. I don't want to teach over a computer. Um, I'm not looking forward to that at all if that is the case. Obviously, I'll make it work and I'll get through it and we'll all get through it and everything will be okay, but I'm definitely not looking forward to that. <laughs> So I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I'm really crossing my fingers that we'll still be able to do our hybrid option. Um, so yeah, I will hopefully find out by the end of this week, if not beginning of next week, what our plan of action is for our return to school plan. Everything literally keeps changing by the minute. Every day we get different emails over updates on the COVID numbers in our city. So I feel all you guys, I know a lot of you keep sending me messages about your districts um, changing their minds constantly. And I know a lot of you who are going back fully in person, but I also know a lot of you who are going back 100% virtual. So I feel for all of you, I've been in all those situations. It's just ever changing. So yeah, I will keep you guys all updated and I will continue this vlog for one more day. I can't believe tomorrow's Friday. So I don't have any plans to come up to the school tomorrow. So um, tomorrow's vlog, I'll just be kind of updating you guys on what I'm doing at home. And yeah, I'll stop talking and I will just see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys it is friday morning we made it to friday <laughs> i feel like this has been the longest week for some reason um so today i don't really have much going on because our principal reached out and said that like we have worked so hard this week and we got pretty much everything done that today was considered principal directed time which means we have to be at school but she said that we can kind of take the day off and of course if we need to be at school we are welcome to be there but if we don't need to be then we can just stay home so as I've said many times, I don't have much left to do in the classroom, so I'm just staying home today. I'm actually going to film a couple YouTube videos for you guys and um, take advantage of my time here to do that. So yeah, and then I work my second job this afternoon, so I'm pretty much just going to hang out here, film a couple YouTube videos for you guys, and then head off to work. So. I think that is going to be it for this week in my life. I had so much fun filming it every day and I definitely want to do more of these. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked this video and want more week in my life. Comment down below if you would prefer to have just like a day in my life if these videos are getting too long.
long. Um, but I know I like watching really long YouTube videos, but some people don't. So just comment down below and let me know what you guys thought of this video. Thank you again so much for watching and for supporting my YouTube channel. Um, subscribe down below if you're not subscribed already. I know a lot of you guys watch my videos and you're not subscribed. So if you hit that subscribe button, it really helps out and supports my channel. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.